Are you new to Stardew Valley and feeling overwhelmed by all the activities in the game? Don't worry, I'm uncovering pro tips that are easy to do and will help you become a better player and understand the game. Here they are. I'm happy to share them with you. Beginner tip number one. Choose layouts and skills that complement each other to make you the most money and help with the community center. For example, choose the forest farm to get mushrooms and ferns right on your farm. This will help you complete the community center faster. Then, choose fruit bats for your cave option, as you won't have much space for growing fruit trees. And then, make your profession a rancher. Being a rancher on a layout that doesn't have much room for farming is the better choice to make more profit by giving high-value animal products such as milk. An opposite example is to choose the wilderness layout, which gives tons of land for crops and fruit trees. And then when Demetrius visits, choose the mushroom cave. And then as you gain farming skills, make your farming profession choose tiller and then artisan. You're getting land, fruit for the community center bundles, and higher prices for all the crops you will be brewing and canning with. The second part of the formula is, don't sell everything you find. Here's why this next tactic makes all the difference. Don't bother shipping low-value items such as sap, slime, or fiber. You will need them for many important crafting projects mid-game, so stow them away in a chest until you need them. Fibers, for example, might seem like they're not worth saving, but it is an ingredient for 20 crafting items you will need. Save that fiber. Okay, notice this for tip number three. Explore the mines early on to gather resources and level up your mining skills. This will help you craft better tools and equipment such as sprinklers. In my opinion, your watering can will only need to be copper or steel level. Use your metal bars for sprinklers instead. Don't waste money upgrading your watering can. Sprinklers will be more important to saving time and having bigger plots of land for your crops. Tip number four. Invest in storage early on to keep your items organized and easily accessible. Top players use this hack, and this will save you time and frustration later on. Have two or four chests near the shipping bin to keep track of it all. For example, you could save time by having one chest for food, one for crafting items, one for ore and gems, and so on. Now, normal players neglect fishing and think it's a waste of time, but you're smarter than that. That's why you're here to learn with this video. Truly, for year one, fishing is a great way to earn money and find valuable treasures that will help you in your journey to complete the museum collection. Get that rod and go fishing. Hang on. If you stop here, you'll miss out on the final two rarely shared tips. First, hit the subscribe button for more content like this. This is just the first in a series I'll be making. Two, now that you've subbed, avoid this mistake hiding in plain sight. The latest 1.6 update has three new important game developments that will make it easier and more fun for new players. The mystery drop boxes, new seeds, and hidden gifts. For example, there's a hidden gift behind the tree where the bookseller is parked. Clear the vegetation in the back, and there's a gift waiting for you. Then, chop trees to find the dropped mystery boxes. Finally, the last item players shouldn't ignore is reading books and magazines when you find them. The first read gives you extra skills and powers. And if you find that same book again, don't read it. You can save it and trade it in with the bookseller. And since I love sharing what I've learned, here's a bonus tip for the most profitable crops per season. Spring, carrots and cauliflower. Summer, melon and starfruit. Fall, beets, grapes and pumpkins. Winter, powder melon. And while you're waiting for your crops to grow, Get to digging in those mines. But first, check out this video on how to get past the darkness in the difficult mine levels 30 to 39.